Welcome on the beautiful island of Madeira, a Portuguese island that hosts the seventh round of the European Rally Championship. This is the leader in that ERC, the Finn Jul Haninen. He's leading with a comfortable margin and he takes on the local specialists, among them Ricardo Moura. Ricardo Moura, Rally Vigno Madeira with a Mitsubishi against the Super 2000. Will be not easy, I think. No, no, it's uh, not easy is not the correct word uh, or phrase. It will be uh, impossible, as usual. The, the Evo 9 Group N car is a very good car, reliable car, competitive car, but uh, against the S2000 is uh, completely impossible. One of those S2000 drivers is Bruno Magalhaes, last year's winner. But he hasn't competed a lot since. His last Tarmac rally was the San Remo rally last year, and that's 11 months ago. Bruno, can we say that you are one of the favorites here? I think so, one of the favorites, but not the big favorite. The big favorite for me is uh, you, Aninen, because uh, he a f he's a fantastic driver, has a fantastic team, a very good car. Uh, his rhythm is impressive. Uh, he, He's doing uh, many, many rallies, and my last rally on gravel, on tarmac, sorry, uh, was uh, San Remo uh, last year. Uh, so in this moment, my rhythm is not okay. I have been uh, stopped since many months, uh, but okay. Uh, I know very well the rally. Uh, I like a lot. I won uh, into last year, and and I'm here to to try to do a good uh, a good race. What do you think about the stages? The stages are, are fantastic here in Madeira. The tarmac is very good, uh, really impressive in some points. Uh, I like a lot. This is my favorite rally. Among the local specialists, this man, Vitor Sa, and you can't get more local than him because he lives on the island. He too drives a Peugeot Super 2000 and is one of the fiercest outsiders for the win here. Some more international stars, like the Italian Luca Betti. Luca Betti, who badly needs some good points for the European Championship. He scored only good points in Croatia. And we have a word with the organizer, Paolo Fontes. Paolo, start of a new rally, Vigno Madeira. What do you expect? Well, we expect a good rally. Uh, we do everything, we did everything to have a good rally. Uh, you know, you have uh, some problems uh, now in the Madeira, in Portugal, uh, some financial form. But you, you do all the best uh, with the, our team of Club Sport Madeira to have a, a good rally during this weekend, like uh, the, the story of the rally in Madeira. Yes, despite the current economic situation in Portugal and in Madeira, there is still a nice organization, a good starting field. And among them is Bruno Magalhaes, one of the crowd's favorites. And there is a big crowd for the starting procedure there in Funchal. Ricardo Moura leaving the starting ramp as well, heading for the Avenido do Mar, the um, road at the sea in the Madeira's capital, where there is a super stage of two kilometers. It's the classic opener of the rally, and it's an opener that always draws a big crowd for Johaninen as well. Juho, Rally Vigno Madeira, very difficult rally. You have been only one time here, what do you expect? Yeah, you are right with that. It's not, it's not that easy, but same time it's one of the, I would say, the best, like a proper tarmac rallies, you know. The stages are nice ones and uh, there's no any gravel, so it's tarmac rally from that side also. And uh, But you are right, it's not easy. I have been once uh, only over here and uh, even on the recce I saw that it's not so easy to put it on the paper, all those wideness of the road is changing a lot of, so it, it, it's not easy, but let's, we will try to enjoy with Mikko and have a good result. You are Hanni and very appreciative of the Madeira stages. And so he should be. This is a very beautiful rally. Quite unique. And it always draws a big crowd. This is uh, Miguel Nunez, last year's Group N winner and fourth overall. Wants to repeat that. And here's the spectacular Lotus GT car. Makes his racing debut. It was present in Ypres, but then as a opener. But here in the hands of Bernardo Souza, it's really competing. Luca Betti on the Avenido do Mar special stage. Taking care of not losing too much time. Just like Vitor Sa. 
but they show off a little bit for the home crowd just like Bruno Magalhaes who sets almost the fastest time of all he's only three tenths of a second short Ricardo Moura one of the best Group N drivers third overall on this short stage not bad for a Group N car but this man he was the quickest there at the Avenido do Mar he did everything rubbed some tires as well and beat all the Portuguese specialists a good start for Johan and then and nice driving from the Finn as well So, quickest time for Hanninen. Magalhaes three tenths behind, and then Mura, Turk, and Luca Betty, almost five seconds. Off to the first real and complete rallying day then. 12 stages on the beautiful island of Madeira. 12 difficult tarmac stages. And the crowds are there early. Very knowledgeable, the Portuguese rally crowd, especially in Madeira. Johaninen, first on the road, sets a good time in the second stage, but then in stage number three, he has a puncture, loses almost a minute, and that drops him a couple of places, of course. Ricardo Moura, not such a good start, not leading Group N. Bruno Magalhaes puts the pedal to the metal from stage one here and he takes the lead albeit with only a couple of seconds but for only his second rally this year that's a good start for the Portuguese driver Vitor Sá was a bit surprised by the speed of Magalhaes dropped some seconds it's still second overall and Luca Betti on the fast stages of Madeira let's drive with the Italian Betty had the same misfortune as Hanninen and had a puncture as well. Another Souza in the Lotus, but unfortunately this would be the last time that he would see that beautiful car. He went off the road and it was impossible to repair the car. And Miguel Nunez had some problems as well with the drive shafts. And this is the Slovenian Turk. And that's the end of his rally as you might figure. He just slid off the road. How was the first leg for you? It's uh, very bad. We broke uh, another drive shaft and uh, we lost uh, many time. <laughs> Nunez now four minutes behind due to a broken drive shaft. Luca Betty had a puncture. Luca, two stages, real stages. How was it going for you? Not uh, very good luck. Uh, we had the puncture in the second stage, and they talked with you. Know, it was very strange because uh, we didn't cut uh, nothing, uh, no corners cut. Strange because uh, we heard this uh, puncture just uh, in uh, six, 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 seven kilometers uh, to the end. Betty, 59 seconds behind, and six seconds behind you, Hanninen, who had a puncture as well. Hugo, you lost a lot of time. What happened? Yeah, the two punctures on the right side, both from the rear, and uh, maybe I don't know five, six kilometers before the finish seven. Uh, but the problem is that I don't know where where I had it. I, I noticed that I have a slow puncture, and I thought it also in the only the front, but then in the main road I realized the back as well. So we lost a lot of time. Yes, he did lose a lot of time. He's now 53 seconds behind the leader, and that will be difficult to make up. Even though the mechanic of Skoda Motorsports are putting the car back to order, Bruno Magalhaes is leading the rally. So Bruno, you're leading? Yeah, very good. After 11 months without driving on, on tarmac, it's fantastic. Uh, you have to improve a little bit the setup. Uh, uh, it's my first time with Pirelli tires and the suspension, so I'm trying to improve. Uh, you're going to change a little bit now in the service park, but I'm really, really happy. I won the first stage and uh, the car is good and uh, it, for me it's a big pleasure to return to the rallies. 
a very happy Bruno Magalhaes, as you could see. Peter Sha is in second, Felipe Freitas is in third, and leading Group N from Magalhaes Hanninen is in fifth. The same loop then on the beautiful Madeira roads. And let's see if Magalhaes can extend his lead or if Juha Hanninen can make up for the lost time due to the puncture. This is uh, Antonio Nunez, the brother of Miguel Nunez, who we saw before. Nunez is fighting for the Group N honors. He's in seventh overall. Fighting with uh, Luca Betti for sixth. And despite some gear shift problems, the Italian has climbed to sixth. But he's lost some time and is now one minute and a half behind the leader. Bad luck then for the Italian. How was the stage, Luca? I tried to repair my lever bar, but uh, it was uh, not good to use. And they lose time, for sure. When I change gear, uh, I never find the uh, immediately. So uh, now we go in the service and we change. But Disappointed then, Luca Betti. Joao Magalhaes has climbed to fifth overall. He's very close to the lead in Group N. Only half a second separates him from the leader. And is this that leader, Felipe Freitas? He too with a Mitsubishi Group N. Force overall, 117 behind the overall leader, but leading Group N. Johaninen has gained some spots, has climbed to third overall, but he's lost some time. He's now 57 seconds behind the leader. It will be difficult for the Finn then to close that gap. But he's doing everything in his power to do so. I hope not, we'll see, but uh, I think we, we need to take the harder one, so we, we don't have so much to lose anymore. <laughs> All right, we'll catch you later on. No, no problem with the, uh, with the tires, uh, Juha? No, no, this time it was much better. <laughs> it's good to see him laugh again, Juha Haninen. Vitor Sa fighting to close the gap with Bruno Magalhaes, but that is not easy. And the gap even grows a bit bigger. He's now 6.7 seconds. How was this lag? It's okay. Very quick, but uh, very good. Good times. Strong feeling. Good. Co-driver Pedro Calado. Very confident. This man is still in the lead. Bruno Magalhaes and co-driver Nuno da Silva. We made a few changes in the setup. The car looks great now. And I'm very happy. I'm uh, improving my rhythm and uh, I'm very happy now. And these are the standings after five stages. Magalhaes leading from Sa. Will he keep that lead? Join us after the break. Welcome back on the beautiful island of Madeira. Second half of our report on the seventh round of the European Rally Championship. It's Bruno Magalhaes leading from Vitor Sá. And the Portuguese rally fans are very happy with that situation. Luca Betti climbing up the ladder during the second half of the opening day. He's now in fourth overall, but he's lost some time again. He's over two minutes behind. Joa Hanninen keeps the gap to the leader constant. But he would like to reduce it a bit. But for the moment, that's not possible. Still in third, the Finn, at, who is leading the uh, European Championship as well. Peter Sa chasing for the lead. But he dropped on second and is now 11 seconds behind. We know that it's not easy. Uh, our first uh, goal uh, on the, this uh, second turn of this afternoon is to keep Anin uh, behind us with the, this difference. And uh, don't lose so many time to Bruno Magalhães. Uh, Boaventura, the stage of Boaventura, was a pity for us because we lose uh, so many time, six seconds. Yes, that single stage of Boaventura doubled this man's lead. He now has 11.1 seconds in hand. Bruno, you're leading, but Victor Sá is only 11 seconds behind you, eh? Yeah, he's doing very, very well. Uh, he's very fast. Everybody knows. Even last year when I won here, he made a fantastic job. And this year is the same story. Uh, 
Everybody here in, in Madeira, the local drivers are fast. And it's very difficult for the other drivers to compete with them uh, in these roads. So even for me, it's not easy. And uh, Vitor is a very strong guy. And uh, I'll try to, to do my best uh, to continue winning some, some seconds to him. Indeed, the local specialists always perform well in Madeira. This Felipe Freitas. Competing very well in his Mitsubishi. Still fifth overall in leading Group N. And here you have the standings after nine stages. Betty and Freitas tied for fourth. The final four stages then. And then it's time for a swimming pool or a beach, whatever you want, on Madeira. Not so for the drivers, because they still have to do four more stages in front of a very enthusiastic crowd. Jose Camacho concludes the top 10 at the end of the complete first rally day. Miguel Nunez climbed up to ninth after his drive shaft problems. And Duarte Ramos is an eighth overall despite this little spin on the sometimes very slippery Madeira tarmac. Kept it out of the wall though, that's the most important part. Ricardo Moura said before the start that it would be very difficult to fight with the Super 2000 cars. Well, he proved right, but it's also very difficult to fight with the other Group N cars. He's only third in the production class for the moment. More than two minutes behind the leader in the production class. Joao Magalhaes is in second, and he's 28 seconds behind the leader. He's sixth overall as well. After one long day, are you happy with your position? Yes, it was the possible position. This was <laughs> I, I, second place in the group hand. Uh, Antonio Nunes uh, ran much better than me, and it, and I'm satisfied. João Magalhaes admits that this Antonio Nunes was driving a bit better than him. And that explains the almost half a minute lead Antonio Nunez has on Magalhaes. And he's also in fifth overall. Luca Betti keeps Nunez behind him for the moment, albeit with only seven seconds. And the Italian is in fourth overall, and that gives him important points for the European Championship, and he needed them. And again, big points for Johaninen as well for the European Championship, including the first day in place three. Juho, if you take tomorrow seven seconds per special, you're the winner. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thanks. Yeah, that I didn't calculate by myself. Okay. Oh, it's not so much. <laughs> oh, honestly, yeah. Okay, I, I didn't catch the boys. Okay, now we are behind Bruno that much what we lost on the third one with the puncture. So they have driven well and uh, not so much to do tomorrow. I'll try to keep this position and, uh, and just drive through and... And in it admits that it will be very difficult to catch the leading two Portuguese drivers. Vitor Sá still in second. After a long day, second position, 10 seconds. Are you happy with the result? Yes, very much. Uh, I think the things for tomorrow are open. Uh, 10 sec seconds, it's uh, not uh, much. We are going to, to try to push a little bit harder in, on, the, on the first uh, steps uh, in the morning. And try to see what uh, what it's happened. Uh, the, the three stages are very difficult, especially the Ponte do Pargo Santa are very technical. I think is the, the the worst stage that that we have in the in the rally. And uh, to 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 end the the day, we have the Rosário in Cumiada, that it's very beautiful uh, as well climbing. Uh, and descending it's a very very special stage uh, the day was uh, quite good for us the things uh, the car are very good and the uh, finish and so let's see what's happened tomorrow co-driver pedro calado counting then on the technical stages in the start of the last day to catch this man bruno magalage still leading with 10 seconds in hand not a comfortable margin but enough he can keep his nose clean on the last day he might take a second consecutive win in Madeira. 
So Bruno, still 10 seconds, you didn't lose so much, so you control the rally already now? No, the rally is not controlled, but uh, I'm, I'm pushing a lot. But in the last loop, uh, with the four stages and many kilometers, uh, we suffered a lot in the last stage. Um, the tires were uh, destroyed and uh, I lost uh, some, some important seconds. But okay, you are still leading, I'm quite happy. Happy with his lead. Vitorsa will do everything to close that lead on the final day. This is how they will start that final day. Saar 10 seconds behind, Henning 48 behind, and Betty and Nunez almost three minutes. Six more stages then on the Flower Island. Beautiful roads there. And after those six stages, we will know who will win the 2012 Rally Vigno de Madeira. Two loops of three stages. Very technical stages, as you heard Pedro Calado say. And the crowds came again in big numbers to assist to this beautiful rally. And Bruno Magalhaes is the first one to hit hard. He takes the best stage in the opening, best time in the opening stage. And he puts one second to Vitor Sa. Bit of a disappointment from Sa, because he counted on reducing his lead on that stage. He took one second back on the next stage, but lost one and a half again. So he's now 12.7 seconds behind Magalhaes. Juha Hannenen gets no closer to the fighting Portuguese drivers. He's happy with third for the moment. Still 48 seconds. Antonio Nunez has climbed to fourth, because Luca Betti has had some problems. That meant that Joao Magalhaes climbs to fifth overall as well. Still 31 seconds behind Nunez in the production class. And Luca Betti would not end Rally Madeira. He had to retire on the last day. Bad luck then again for the Italian. This is how they start the final loop of three stages. Can Vitor Saar close the gap of 12.7 seconds? It looks very unlikely, but anything can happen. And while some spectators already enjoy the beautiful Madeira beaches, some of them stay on the mountain roads to assist these final three stages. That will reveal the winner of the 2012 edition of the Rally Madeira. Joa Hanninen had some bad luck in the last stage. Some technical problems on his Skoda and he drops to seventh. Still leading the European Championship though. Miguel Nunez climbed to fifth in the end. Just behind Ricardo Moura. who finished uh, in second in the production class. And this man won production class because Antonio Nunez had a very unfortunate problem in the final stages and dropped from the rally. Vitor Sa did everything in his power to close the gap, but he only reduced it by one tenth of a second. That meant that Vitor Sa ends in second position. Congratulations, second place. Happy with this result? Yes, uh, very much. Uh, it was a result that uh, we don't expect it on the beginning of the rally. We expecting it in the podium, but uh, maybe on the first place because we know that uh, Anin and will go uh, very very hard and uh, Brun Magalhães too. During the rally, we believe that it was possible to to maintain the second place, and we do everything we can to to maintain the second position, and uh, we are very happy to to finish on second place here in Madeira. Yes, they might have got that second place a bit fortunately, but they defended it well and even threatened this man. But in the end, Bruno Magalhaes took his second consecutive win in Madeira. And he, maybe this can push him to drive some more rallies this year. Bruno, congratulations. Again, victory here for you. You must be a very happy man. Uh, it's just perfect for me. Uh, after so long time, without driving on, on tarmac, uh, we ret return here with the new team, uh, new suspension, new tires, 
and uh, without the perfect rhythm, but you have made a perfect job, fantastic race, and I think we deserve to win here. And this is the final result of the Rally Vigno Madeira. Magalhães wins it from Vitor Sá. Joao Magalhães, surprisingly third and winner of the production class. And they can all visit the finish ramp. The big crowd has descended from the mountain roads to assist in the joys of Bruno Magalhães, who is congratulated by the organizer. A very nice, very popular win for the young Portuguese driver, and let's hope that this good result will help him in finding the necessary funds to continue his very promising career. Johaninen still leads the European Championship, even though he only finished seventh here. The next round for that European Championship is in the Czech Republic, the Baron Rally at the end of August. We'll see you there. And we hope we have a as nice winner as we have here in Madeira with Bruno Magalhães. See you then. <laughs>